Hamidka claims to have a potion that can protect people against the deadly Ebola virus. All he will reveal is that it's made of chip wood from a sacred forest, plants and honey, and add it to that several secret prayers. He tells me other traditional healers are trying it out in Guinea. The government has put into place enough measures of protection. If there is a case of Ebola, we are perfectly equipped to handle the patient in our local health center. It's traditional practices like this that hinder doctors without borders. They've been pushed away from Ebola-infected villages, sometimes violently, because locals don't trust them. In most societies here, traditional healers are the first point of contact for people needing treatment because they live in areas where they don't have access to a medical facility. They're not used to medical staff. Only 50 health officers are stationed along this 300-kilometer border separating Senegal from Guinea. The Ebola outbreak is within a few hundred kilometers and spreading. Despite being so close, there's no real sense of panic here. The Senegalese authorities say they're monitoring the situation at border posts and have put steps in place to protect their population. These Guinean citizens have come to Senegal to work. To enter, they only need to wash their hands with soap and detergent. No one is checking their temperature or asking if they have come into contact with sick patients. I'm surprised no one asked us to fight Ebola. This potion works for all types of diseases. Ebola comes from nature. Its cure will come from nature. There are no known cases of Ebola in Senegal, but Ka has no shortage of patients fearing they have the virus. Most of the time, they suffer with something far more contagious, the flu. No need to go to the doctor, as Hamid Ka has a remedy for that too. His potions have never failed him yet. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Kedugu, Senegal, Guinea border.